English school children are regularly told not to use the word nice when they're writing essays. And in today's video, you're going to learn why you should also not use the word nice and what to use instead if you really want to improve your English speaking skills. Hi, I'm Steve. Let's do this. No matter what language we use, the reason we speak and have conversations is to swap ideas. And to be fluent, we should choose words that pass a lot of information. Nice means something's acceptable. It's okay. It's not bad. Is that really what you're trying to say? Listen to this conversation. How was your holiday? It was nice. What was the weather like? It was nice. Was the hotel okay? Yes, it was nice. What we've just learned is that this guy's holiday wasn't bad, but we don't have a lot of information about it. We don't even know if he enjoyed it. And the reason we don't know is because he used the uninformative, boring word that is nice. Now compare the last conversation to this one. How was your holiday? It was amazing. What was the weather like? It was fantastic. Was the hotel okay? It was stunning, really fancy. Just by replacing the word nice, it's become informative and interesting. Now let's take a look at some words you can use to replace the word nice, so that you capture the attention of who you're talking to and you sound more fluent. If the sun is shining, the sky is blue, you can use a simple word like lovely. The weather was lovely. If you struggle to pronounce the letter L in English, check out this video on the site. It'll really help you. To make the word lovely stronger, just add the word really in front of it. So it becomes really lovely. The weather was really lovely. It was a really lovely day. To describe someone's personality, you can use words like interesting, kind, wonderful. To make these words stronger, add the word so in front. So it becomes so interesting, so kind, so wonderful. My dad is so kind. Next, to describe someone's appearance, for a woman, use beautiful or gorgeous, or if they're a little younger, pretty. Have you seen his wife? She's gorgeous. For a man, use handsome or good looking. What a good looking man. Whether it's a walk or a parachute jump, there are better words to use than nice when you're describing an event or an activity. You could use pleasant or exciting. If you're asked to describe a place, like someone's house, you might use the word impressive. Or if it's smaller, you could use the word cozy. To make these stronger, put the word such in front. So they become such an impressive house, such a cozy flat. If the place you're describing is in the countryside, or perhaps at the seaside, you can use a word like breathtaking or awesome. This view is breathtaking. When you're talking about food, impress the person you're with by instead of using the boring word nice, using words like tasty or delicious. We all love watching movies and if we really like them, we can describe them as smashing. But if they made us cry, we could say it was a tearjerker. To pronounce this properly, replace that ER sound at the end with the little uh schwa sound. So it's tearjerker, uh, tearjerker. You try. It was a tearjerker. 
These words, fancy and stunning, can be used to describe expensive or unusual items. This is a fancy boat. And this Fabergé egg is stunning. Now it's your turn. Replace all the boring nices in this paragraph to bring this to life. If you're new to this channel, please click on the bus to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the new videos that come out every week. And then click on this link for another great video that's guaranteed to improve your English. I'll see you next time.